we have three future scenarios in Asia. Uh, one is China continues to grow its military power and become dominant power in this region, kicking out U.S. influence uh, from Asia. So, which is called, which can be called the China hegemony or even Pax Sinica scenario. And under this scenario, every country will lose independence uh, and, and freedom. So from our perspective, that's the worst scenario. And to avoid this uh, worst scenario, we have the second scenario of uh, balance of power. So Japan, US, and the other regional countries would align to balance the rising uh, Chinese military power. And uh, unfortunately, I think uh, the today's situation is closer to this balance of power scenario. And we should have the third scenario, which is a uh, liberal Asia. Japan, US, and other regional countries would uh, welcome China as a constructive and responsible partner, and we all behave based on the agreed rules and international law. So uh, our task is to uh, guide China and this and the region as a whole into this uh, third scenario. And Prime Minister Abe, his diplomacy is known as a value-based diplomacy to realize the shared values in this region and also uh, establish a rule-based order in this region. And obviously, U.S. and Japan share the same strategic goal of liberal Asia.